Skull! What's going on LinkedIn fam? It's your boy, John Fry. And today, we are going to finally be doing the video for the hashtag Let's Get Rejected Challenge. Now, my story is maybe a little bit different um, <laughs> than your typical rejection story. Uh, this was actually filmed and shown uh, on ABC Family's Startup You, and you're going to see that in the clip right now. Here's your business plan. You don't have it? No, it didn't, didn't show up. Well, I have it right here. Hearing Tim ask for my business plan, I was totally thrown on back because I had sent it. And were you late? No. I, I was, I, I submitted it after 6 p.m. But it still got in. You can send that to me some time later, but for now, um, you. What do you see yourself doing in 20 years? Are you running for president or are you running a big empire? In 20 years, so I see it as uh, multi-tiered, solving one problem at a time, right? The first problem is politics. Transportation is also something I'm really committed to figuring out and solving. Uh, another thing that's really important to me is the clothing industry. So right now, it's made in a pretty uh, inefficient manner also. As an entrepreneur, you have to be singularly focused. Yeah. But it's got to also feel like it's leading you toward your goals in life. And your goals are very disparate goals. So I don't know if entrepreneurship is the right thing for you. I think you are still developing. You know, you got a lot of potential, you're a bright guy, but it doesn't look to me like you're on the track to win this thing. So as you can see, I wasn't feeling too great. Um, the person you saw there was Tim Draper, a uh, billionaire venture capitalist. And you know, I really beat myself up at the time, but I am actually so grateful for this. This is one of the greatest things that has ever happened to me in my entire life. Uh, and here's why. So that particular interaction, you know, where he said, I don't think you're an entrepreneur, that basically was the first time that I had ever taken doubt and turned it into fuel for my fire, really got me going, saying like, yes, yes I am, and let me, let me prove it. Let me show you why I'm an entrepreneur. And that mindset of taking doubt and turning it into fuel has been so immensely helpful. And the other big thing is rejection or just failures uh, in life in general, those are the places where we really learn. Those are the things, uh, those are the experiences that give us the actual growth that we need as humans to get better. You know, if he had never said that, I never would have focused. I never would have uh, put in the effort that I did and continued to turn, you know, doubt into fuel for myself in the future. So not only am I grateful for that, but in general, I am actually grateful for rejection. Now, in the moment, I might not be so stoked. I kind of look deer in the headlights like I did in that clip you just saw, but it's a constant reminder to myself after rejection or whatever uh, failure happens, I should be grateful. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.